Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about Measure It Arc. Let's create in this tutorial dimension styles for your projects. In case you missed it, uh, you missed my first tutorial on um, the Measure It Arc. It's one of the best uh, free add-ons that will give you the ability to create to make dimension lines in Blender as if it was a cat tool. I will leave a link in the video with a card so you can uh, take a look on my uh, so you can watch my first tutorial where i explain how to download and install measure it arc in blender 4.2 and if you don't want to miss any uh, of my future tutorials please subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with everything related to architecture design and visualization in blender now, how can we create dimension styles here in uh, with a Measure It Arc? First, you will see the Measure It Arc as a tab on your 3D viewport sidebar. And here you will see that one of the fields give you the option to select a style, a dimension style. But in this particular file, I don't have any dimension style uh, ready to use, so I will make sure I have my dimensions set to show here. And to create dimension styles, you need to go to the scene tab on your properties editor. If you scroll down, you will see here that we have the styles field. Here you will see all of your styles for the measure it arc. If I hit the plus button, I can create a new dimension style, hit okay and this will be your first dimension style. Expand this option, and if you want, we can take a visual uh, feedback here. Let's select a distance to vertices, press this button align, and it will create a dimension. You can see that measure, the measure it arc already added the dimension style one to this field, so this, uh, dimension uh, line here, uh, it's already using this style. Let's make some changes. I will change the font size to 20. Let's uh, increase the line weight to one. I will increase the arrow size here to 15. Let's change the arrow from a triangle to a dashed. That tick line that's quite common in architectural projects. Let's make the line weight a bit more thicker. And you can also change the color. Let's set it to a red color. It will pop up. It will be easier to view. This is our dimension. So I can keep adding more dimensions. And since I'm using this style here, I can click on the align. Oh, sorry, this is not what I wanted. How to remove, how to delete uh, one, uh, one of these uh, dimension lines. You have to come here under object properties and you will see a list with all of your dimensions. I have this one here. Did I make two of them? Yeah, apparently I, I have uh, two dimensions overlapping. Uh, I will select this vertex, this vertex, press the align button. It will create a new dimension. Let me select this vertex and this vertex aligned. Everything is fine. It's working. Let's create another dimension from here to here. And now I need to make some changes. I want to rotate this dimension here to the other side. You can either overlapping your uh, dimension or you can create a new style let's create a new style i will come here under my styles and i will click here and i will duplicate this style and the only change that i will make here is to rename it with 180 and the only change that i will make here is to set the rotation to 180. Let's get back into objects or the object tab. And I will select this dimension and I will change my style to use this 180, which is the dimension that I want to use. Let me select this vertex, this vertex. 
Oh, I already have a dimension for this. Let me remove this. I will create one from here to here. Press the align button. And now, uh, instead of uh, changing uh, my uh, dimension style, I can break the connection to my style. Clicking on this chain, you will see that it will lose the formatting so you can make changes individually to this dimension. So you can set the rotation to 180. You can change the arrow size to something different. You can change the line weight to 1.5. You can set a different color. And this is how you can create dimension styles. I'll be creating a new dimension from here. And I know this will need to use the 180 style so I can keep adding more dimensions. And this is a quick introduction to dimension styles uh, with uh, the measure it arc. So to recap, you will uh, make and manage dimension styles from the scene tab on this field. And you have a list with all of your dimensions here on the object property. This is each one of your dimensions. You can rename them to make it easier to find uh, which one of these dimensions is uh, each one of these uh, here on the list. Uh, trust me, uh, when you start adding new dimensions to a project with, uh, let's say, 50 to 80 dimension lines, it will become messy to look and find each one of your individual dimension uh, lines here on this list. So I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, if you think it's useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future updates regarding uh, Measure It Arc or anything related to architecture, design, and visualization with a Blender. And don't forget to check the learning resources from Blender 3D Architect. I will leave a link in the description. I have a new workshop, Precise Modeling uh, with a Blender for uh, Architecture, Engineering, and 3D Printing. See you next time. Bye.